Right, what's up everyone? Back again with yet another video. And today guys, I'm back out in these UK streets. Back with the family, back in the UK. Say what's up to the vlog. How does it feel to be back on Tommy DMO? We're all back together again. We're back from Miami. Well, I'm back from Miami, back in the UK, and we're actually out in a place called Milton Keynes, which is actually not too far from where my family live, Luton, which is where we're on the way to at the moment, or we kind of went a bit of a detour, but we thought we'd go for a little walk around. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit of Milton Keynes, and obviously, of course, I'm going to be getting something to eat and reviewing it for you guys. No idea what that's going to be yet. Wait. Wait. Isn't that crazy that you guys know something that I don't know? Like, at the time that I'm filming this, I don't know where we're going to be eating, but you do already because you've probably seen the thumbnail. Oh, wow. Wait. <laughs> ooh, ooh. It's so weird. So, guys, yeah, we're gonna, I don't know where we're going to eat, but there's, gonna, there's gotta be something, there's gotta be something to review around here for you guys. But, yeah. Another reason that I'm actually here in Milton Keynes and we're taking the detour is because there's somewhere else I want to go. It's not just to eat and it's a place called... If I see a lid to anywhere in England, I've got to go in because they've got a good extensive collection of hats. Basically, when I was out in Miami, I really wanted to get a Miami uh, Marlins hat. They were like $50 just to buy a Marlins hat. You can buy Miami Marlins hats cheaper here in the UK, so plan is to go in Lids in a bit once we've eaten and have a look and see if I can find a Miami Marlins hat for a little bit cheaper than $50 or the equivalent of $50 in pounds but anyway we found this shop which is got some weird okay no we've got Jesus we've got Jesus in there and we've also got some creepy things that go on there creepy things we've got the guy from Mortal Kombat there I don't know his name Pennywise the clown Come along with us and let's see what we can find. I have actually just seen, I oh know it's just churros. I thought I saw a Mexican food place, but it's not, it's just churros. So we need to get something savory. Maybe we'll get some churros on the way back. Hello. Hello. Do you want to say anything to the vlog? No. Do you want to, do you want to shout out your Instagram or anything like that? Uh, oh, I would love to. Shout out your Instagram Hi on the guys. camera. I, don't, I actually don't know my tag, so I actually need <laughs> to get it off. So we've got some new friends here in Milton Keynes and they're going to shout out their Instagram for you. Oh my god, it's so cool, it's just... Yeah, it's a gimbal camera, it's pretty cool. It's so cool. T-H-E-O, Theo, 235921. Cool. Nice to meet you all, yeah? You too. Yep. So make sure you go and follow that young man on his Instagram. I said I'd give him a shout out as he made a point of saying hello to the camera. It's always nice to meet people. And they've got some quite good food places here. We've got a Lebanese place, which looks good. There's a jerk chicken place in the distance, which you guys probably can't see. Um, what, you, what do you guys feel like? Oh, we got the uh, Sharon wants the golden arches, McDonald's. Like, hang on, hang on. Hey, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Bruh, bruh, bruh. We've already been to McDonald's today. You've already had a McDonald's. You have fries. So we're definitely not getting McDonald's again. I don't want to be reviewing McDonald's for you. You guys know what McDonald's tastes like. It's all right, it does the job. It's cheap and cheerful, but we're not going to be doing a McDonald's uh, review. We found this little outdoor food market type thing, which looks a little bit more interesting than going to McDonald's. I'll show you guys what we got. So we've got burgers, bratwurst, there's curries, French tacos. They've got wings. That looks really good as well. Yeah, we can get food and sit inside and eat it. Just kind of more what I was thinking, like something a little bit independent. It looks like they've got quite a good little selection of things here. So they've got pizza, got Nigerian food. Nigerian food looks good. They've got Jamaican food. Some Jamaican food there. Uh, let's see what this is, Mama's. Oh, pizza, dear. They're always saying she wants some pizza. So what's this? <coughs> this looks pretty cool. I don't really know exactly what it is, but they got some good stuff on there. I think it may be African again. Some variety, it looks pretty good. I don't know, Jamaican food's always good. So, what did you go for then, Aurora? It's like a burrito just with cheese and um, and chicken tikka. And chicken, yeah. I got this burrito here. It's pretty big. It's pretty fat. 
very good service. The guy actually only charged me like £2.50 for Aurora's burrito. So she went for a chicken tikka burrito, which she's pretty much yamming as we speak. How's that then, Aurora? This is actually a Cali Burrito Fusion uh, and it's actually halal so I'm not sure if it's like a Cali Mexican fusion or I don't know if it's... I've actually got chicken tikka in this so this might be an Indian and Mexican fusion. So let's see what it's saying anyway. Basically all we got is some rice and beans, um, some chicken tikka, hot sauce cheese. It's pretty, pretty basic but here we go guys. So off the bat we've got a very soft tortilla. Toasted. It's pretty good. Texture-wise, it's banging. It's, it's, it's very soft and easy to bite into, and it's proper packed. It's a damn good burrito. Chicken's very tender. It's kind of like that shredded chick chicken. You know what I mean? When they kind of shred that? it up, as opposed to like chunks of chicken. But damn, again, makes it more tender and easy to bite. Definitely not spicy. Very, very mild. I've got a little bit of salsa in it. Like for my taste, I probably would. I'd definitely have it a lot spicy in this if I could, but there wasn't really too much option to have, to have like spicy meats. I have got some of the uh, the hot sauce. I can't pronounce it. I can't remember exactly how the logo is, but it's not super, super, super flavorful, but. I don't want to bash it because you can tell that it's it's just a well cooked burrito. The thing is, like my taste buds, yeah, I like very spicy, salty. I like the kind of foods that the foods that are bad for you to me taste the good. Maybe like I would have like I just like my my chicken, my meats extra seasoned. I'll go. It's got to be an eight out of ten. It's got to be an eight out of ten. It, it probably only loses a couple of points basically because it's. It's maybe not as flavorful as what I'm used to, but as far as construction, texture, quality, it's a damn good burrito. Eight out of 10. It looks like your burrito is going down very well. Would you, do you want to give it a rating? A third, 10 out of 10. Oh, 10 out of 10. It's not too spicy or anything. I'm nice and mild. It looks like you're definitely enjoying it anyway. You know when Sharon is not feeling it because her eyes just start going a bit narrower and she's... I've got a cold, guys. I've got a cold. All right, we'll let her off. She's got a cold. She'll be back with a bang soon. I, don't worry, guys. I don't, don't worry, just guys. walk around and think, oh, today is a nice day to narrow my eyes. Yes, Saturday is a narrow eye day. <laughs> As I've already said on this vlog, sar sarcasm is the lowest form of wit, bro. No. Leave in the comments. Have a word. Have a word of our Shazia. Yeah? All right, guys. Well, <laughs> uh, that's that then, anyway. I'm going to get this down with Gregory anyway, and then we'll go and see what else we're going to do. So make sure you stay tuned. So let's see what else we get into. We're going to be doing more. I might even try the real French tacos. I don't know yet. Definitely pretty dope shopping here as well. Like, I remember coming to this mall when I was a kid, when I used to come up to Luton, and yeah, it was always a really good shopping mall, and it still is. It's got everything you need. So Shazier wants to have a little look in Zara. Yeah. But well, I thought you would normally be hating on Zara, bro. It's a bit odd for me. Okay. That's all you're oh, I swear someone just farted then. I walked through the door and I just got a waft. You know, when it just hits you in the face, you know someone's farted. That definitely just happened then. So we're in Zara, we've been in here for a few minutes, and I could just I know already that I'm going to walk out. My wallet is going to be a hell of a lot lighter because Shazzy has been picking out hella fits. Look, what? She's still going, she's still going, she's still picking stuff up. Is it really? She's got like about five outfits that she's picking up that are going on my card for right, sure. It's like only that big. And just that big? Wait, wait, show, show us again. Just, it was, it was just, it was really that big. It was very small. They only had things for toddlers and like threes, sixes, fives. Say what's up to the vlog. You haven't really been saying too much of the vlog, have you? Who's that? A rainbow. A rainbow. 
what are you doing? So now we've filled our tummies and just dropped a bag in Zara. Coming in. All right, so we're looking for a Florida, Florida Marlins hat. For Florida Marlins. So we're looking for a Miami Marlins hat. At the moment, I'm not seeing anything. Do you want to see if you can help me find a Miami Marlins hat? All right, this is what I'm actually looking for. That, that's the team. Miami but, Dolphins. Miami Marlins, but I want it on a fitted. Yeah. Have you got permission to film? Uh, no, I haven't, we're not allowed. Do you know what? Lids. I just got told off for filming in Lids. They said I got a camp film in there, so I just I don't feel like buying anything now. I feel like listen, the business is getting some free promotion, and I get told off for filming in there. So you know what, Lids, you can you can stick your hat right up your. It's a free country. Doesn't make sense, yeah. And I don't like the way she talks to me as well. Like, excuse me, you're not allowed to film in here. Oh yeah, I don't I don't. I don't really feel like buying anything from Lids anyway. To be honest, the, the one in Luton, which I've been to before, they were actually really cool in there. I've actually filmed a little bit in there and they never said anything, so I don't know if it's actually a company policy or the woman was just being in London. I filmed in Lids in London as well and they let me film, so... I'm just in my feelings now, right now, so, but... <laughs> I'm being petty now, I'm being petty. Anyway, we're in Sports Direct and I'm just looking for... So another thing I want to get in Miami was a messy jersey. Again, expensive, so I'm gonna have a look at Sports Direct to see if there's one a little bit cheaper in here. Still trying to buy things from, from Miami in, in Milton Keynes. Seen something else. I was just in here looking for a messy shirt. And she's found some Pumas that she likes. How much are they then, bro? Right guys, so we got done shopping in Milton Keynes. I didn't manage to pick up anything. I couldn't get the Florida Marlins hat. I couldn't get, I tried to get the messy jersey, they didn't have them in stock, so kind of a bust as far as shopping goes, but at least I got a burrito and brought you guys some good content, and Aurora definitely enjoyed our burrito. Shazzy did all right, she picked up a few things, a few it's little luck, yes. steals and deals, didn't you, bruh? Mummy rarely buys things for myself, very rarely. If that I is true. Things, it's things McDonald's. I need. Yeah, normally most of your money goes on McDonald's. <laughs> yes, and like toiletries and things like that. But in terms of really buying clothes, once in a while. You don't really treat yourself much, so you do deserve a little treat, babe. I'm only playing. <laughs> no, I'm just playing, guys. Anyway, as far as as far as lids go, I will shop in there again. Of course, I will. You know, I'm not going to hold it against lids as a, as a franchise, but I do feel like you know, kind of not doing any harm filming. I don't know what the rules are. I'll pop in, see, go to the one in Luton tomorrow, see if I can get the the Florida Marlins hat there anyway. But I hope you guys enjoyed this short, sweet vlog, and I'll see you guys in the next video, all right?